it's cold in here. Ah! <laughs> hey, you guys. Why am I so dark? Hello. Let me close this. Is that better? It is. Okay. Well, hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay Wallace. For those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do, welcome back to my channel. Um... <laughs> I'm getting my tongue pierced today, you guys, and I'm hella nervous. I just finished working out. It's Thursday, so it was cardio and core, and I literally just finished working out, but I'm hungry. I decided to run 2.25 miles, I think, and then I walked another 0.25 because I have these little stickers that I didn't put on, and they go on your nipples. They're called nippies, but basically my boobs jump and my nipples rub against like the fabric and it causes them to like get a rash sometimes bleed and it's really uncomfortable so i had to walk the rest of it because there was no way because my titties were stinging now i'm eating a giant plate of food i might have i don't know if i'm gonna finish all of this but i might have one more snack like later or i'll finish this later before i have to go and get my tongue pierced <laughs> my appointment is at five o'clock and it's 12 right now well technically 11.55. So we've got a little bit of time, but I heard that like it's gonna be really hard to eat the first day or the first two days. Yeah, I'm trying to get in my munchies right now, but I'm getting my tongue pierced today. I am fresh out of the shower and I'm just gonna go ahead and start my little curly hair routine or whatever. If you're interested, I do have a video. I'll link it up here and you can check it out, but it's my curly hair routine and all the products I used. Honestly, nothing has changed, but I do need water in this thing, what the heck? I've actually wanted to get my tongue pierced for a really long time. I just never had, well, at first it was like my family didn't approve. I was like, damn, my family doesn't approve, I'm not gonna get it done. And then I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna get it done because I want it, I like it, you know? But then I was scared. <laughs> but today, for whatever reason, I have the galls to get it done. I'm not nervous yet because I still have time. Actually, as I said that I caught a little anxiety whoosh. But I'm getting the one down the middle. I've wanted it since high school. I do like the idea of having it pushed back a little bit because um, I don't I don't want it to be super noticeable, but I don't want you to not be able to see it either. And I'm really, like, I don't know. I'm not nervous yet because I think, like, the idea hasn't sunk in that that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to get a needle pushed through my tongue. But I'm also, like, convinced that the piercing itself won't hurt very much because it's what I've heard from, like, everybody. Literally, everybody is that the piercing itself isn't going to hurt very much. It's, like, the after process and that i'm a little nervous for but i have had i've had my wisdom teeth removed when i was in boot camp and then again later in the navy i had another two removed um because i didn't have all four removed at the same time anyway that pain was the it's the that pain is the only other invasive kind of trauma ish pain that i can think of having in my mouth and it wasn't that bad <laughs> i mean even like like, okay, so they gave me two different things to take. One was ibuprofen, duh, like, the military's known for just giving you ibuprofen. But it wasn't the only thing they gave me. They gave me something else. I'm not gonna say it on camera because I don't know, like, the name exactly, and I don't want to say the wrong one because it... Look. <laughs> like, I didn't take it all the time because I think I didn't even finish the one that was a little bit stronger. I didn't even finish that one because the pain to me just wasn't... It wasn't that bad. It wasn't enough for me to take... A medication that some people get hooked on so I did need it like a little bit just not a lot my point is is that this shouldn't be as bad and from what I'm told after a couple of days it's not that bad now do I work on Monday at Burger King hi welcome to Burger King my name is Lindsay what can I get started for you yes <laughs> and I'm hoping that by Monday I can do that whole spiel will I be able to I don't know, but I do plan on taking you guys through the next couple of days as I recover. I have some meals in mind already, like I, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to continue with my smoothies because, you know, they're smoothies, like you just drink it. And I have yogurt and applesauce in the fridge, y'all know I'm obsessed with those little squeezies. And I've got protein powder, so some protein shakes. <laughs> got bananas that I could like mush maybe. And, um, <laughs> that's about it. But I am going to go to the store and see if I could find anything else, like maybe oatmeal. I feel like oatmeal could be something to try. But that's something we'll do later because I do still have to buy, well, I have mouthwash with zero alcohol in it, but I need to buy 
more. I literally have nothing. But I'm gonna buy the one that I've seen recommended in a lot of different reviews I've read online and videos I've watched on the subject. I'm getting my tongue pierced today. I feel like that's not a very common piercing for people to get because, I mean, one, it's seen as like, I feel like unprofessional. And then two, families don't always approve of it. Like, I don't think, I don't think anybody in my family approves of it. Not even my brother. <laughs> I mean, my husband, he's cool with it. Nobody else. But it's okay. I mean, I approve of it. That, that, that man in the back there, he says women can't have as much rights as men. Because Christ wasn't a woman. But where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? He came from God and a woman. Man didn't have nothing to do with it. I mean, if the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, well, these women here together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And they ask him to do it. The well, man better let them. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna finish doing my hair. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> and I will catch you guys when we're on the way. Okay, you guys, it is now 3.41 and <laughs> the adrenaline is kicking in. I'm about an hour and 15 minutes away from my appointment. I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth and my tongue very good because, you know, she's gonna be all up in my mouth. Bro, my tummy. I'm really about to do this. <laughs> Okay, you guys, my mouth is clean. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in my hair because, well, I put gel in my hair earlier, so the oil is just to get rid of the cast, which the cast is like, you know how your hair gets crunchy? Yeah, the oil gets rid of that, but still keeping a hold. <laughs> it's olive oil, which is one of like, very few oils that penetrate the hair shaft. Coconut oil is another one, and then maybe grapeseed oil, but also I don't remember all the way. <sighs> I gotta keep taking deep breaths. I'm really about to do this, bro. I'm excited though. I'm just also hella nervous. A needle's gonna go through my tongue. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, pack you guys up, and we're gonna skedaddle. We're going to Walmart first so I can pick up a couple of things. I wanna get Advil. I think I might get oatmeal, like the protein kind, but also I might not because I also have like the Kodiak cakes in my cabinet, my pantry, and I feel like those are soft enough, you know? So I might not get the oatmeal, but I'm definitely going to get some Advil and some mouthwash. <sighs> Okay, let's just go because I'm gonna start rambling and I don't want to be late. <laughs> bye, Nachi. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, we are officially here at Walmart. We're in the Walmart parking lot. Um, the countdown to the piercing is 52 minutes now. Um, and the fact that I'm like on the road on my way, like now it's starting to set in that I'm gonna get it. And I was calling it anxiety, but it's definitely more like adrenaline, like a rush, I guess. That's starting to creep on me and I just feel like I have to take like a thousand deep breaths. We're gonna head in here in a second. I'm gonna listen to a little bit more music because, I don't know, I'm just mentally preparing myself for exactly what's about to happen. I know that I'm just, you know, right now about to like walk into Walmart, but... Bro, I will. Uh, we're gonna head it in a second. We're gonna head it in a second. <sighs> That was the quickest trip ever and I turned off my AC just for you guys but it is 88 degrees out here in the hot as hell desert that is in the middle of nowhere California so this isn't gonna last long. <laughs> 
because it's too damn hot for that. But anyway, I got some of this, the Biotin, Biotin, because it has like a accent, Biotin. I don't know, whatever. Dry mouth oral rinse. I saw it recommended on different, oh, soothing moisturizing, wait, soothing moisturization, immediate symptom relief, long lasting, fresh, freshens breath, alcohol free, fresh mint. I saw it recommended on different websites that I was like reading about tongue piercings and stuff. Necessary. And then I also got some Advil that I'm going to take afterwards and that should help with like the swelling and the pain. Bro. <sighs> all right so it's 422 it takes about 10 minutes to get there from here from walmart so i'm gonna sit here for a little bit longer and then i'm gonna head over there i have a friend that's meeting me there she got her tongue pierced also from the same girl so that's how i you know got put on she recommended me <sighs> we're gonna get this done i've been wanting this since high school you guys i'm 20 I will see you guys there. Okay, you guys, um, I'm on my way. I'm about to be on my way over there. Um, I just texted my friend and I was like, okay, I'm on my way. My heart's racing. And she was like, on your way too. And I was like, did you forget to the tug piercing? But she's on her way though. She did forget, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't. So we're going to start going. I'm going to play music that makes me feel good. And you guys might end up listening to the air. I'm just going to talk to you guys once we get there. You guys, I just made it. And I'm so nervous. Do you want to be in the vlog? Okay, well take your blender first. And then this is like, like if it's not blending, you push it down in there. Are you nervous? Yes, my heart is like almost out of my chest. Did you already eat? Yeah, I ate earlier and then I was gonna eat again, but like I'm so nervous I can't eat. Oh, this is, this is my friend Lexi. Hi guys. <laughs> she came with me so that you know I would have somebody I'm so nervous I texted her and told her that that we're here but she hasn't said anything oh wait she said one second she did say something back okay first can you see yours again <laughs> okay she's like let me make sure I still want it <laughs> <laughs> this is the African instructions if you want to snap a photo of it okay I'll go through everything with you I just like to give you the option to be able to do that Okay, and then this, letting me know that you don't have diabetes, allergic reactions, blood disorder, cardiac problems, epilepsy, um, no dental surgeries or antibiotics, pregnancy, hepatitis. I try to be as legit as I can even though I'm doing it out of my home. No, you're good. At home businesses are still businesses. Okay, cool. Okay, so how long did it take before you felt like... No, because you just got it done, like when I was in Miami, right? Yeah. And it's been like a week, right? Well, a little over a week now. But like, and you came to work on Monday, because I, no, on Tuesday, because I was there on Tuesday and you were fine. Okay, I'll be fine. Oh, it's already, it's been going. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You're like, I'll edit it later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a light blue. You're more than welcome to grab them. Okay. I've got red and black. Do you have pink? Oh, my really popular. We're out of, oh, look. Pink? I'll take pink. All my right. favorite colors yeah. are purple and pink, but per pink is, you know, on All top right. right now. Yeah, it goes pretty fast. Um. Sorry, I want them to see. Okay, now you have to concentrate on keeping your tongue out, okay? Oh, like that. <laughs> it sounds I'm super trying to weird. get I'm trying to stick my tongue out, but in my head my brain is telling me, no girl, put it back. <laughs> no, no, girl, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not natural. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Keep it just like that. Lexi's like, I need to see how this is done. It's different seeing it as opposed to getting it. Oop. Okay, stick it 
stick it out far and take a deep breath. <sighs> you did great. <laughs> okay, stay very still. Just gotta grab the door. Out far. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. You're doing great. We're almost done. We just gotta put the ball on. Stick it up for me. I know it's hard to concentrate. It's natural to have some blood. I feel like I'm drooling. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cry, you guys. <laughs> how, do you, how does it feel? How bad was it? Um, it was mostly pressure, and it felt like like I could feel how thick my tongue is. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, it does. Um, Suddenly you're very aware of how thick it is. <laughs> yeah, but my cartilage definitely hurt worse, and so so did actually my belly button probably. Really? I haven't heard that one before. So yeah, I feel like yeah, because I felt more of a pinch. This one just felt like pressure. Actually, spitting hurts. Yeah, it's gonna be a little weird. I can't believe I did that. You can stick it out as much as you feel comfortable with. There's gonna be blood. Okay, you guys. That sounds so weird. We're at the commissary, and I'm going to see if I could find some ice cream. That's what Lexi said to get. She said that, you know, it's a good excuse to get some ice cream. But I'm going to get some, well, if they have it, I'm going to see if I could find some, like, shaved ice, you know? I feel like there's going to be, ow, that hurt. Ooh, I feel like there's going to be better than ice cream. I'm going to stop talking because this hurts. I can't believe. Oh, I'll put my ice cream in the freezer. Ah! Yeah, you guys, I did it. Um, I sound so dumb. Um, it hurts to talk, but I did already take an Advil. I should be alright, but I don't think I'm going to talk very much, it really hurts, but I will still vlog my experience. <laughs> uh, super cool. Okay, I'm going to chill for a little while, and then I'm going to do something. Mm. Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> I'm still in bed and it's what time is it? It's 8.20. It's 8.20 in the morning. Bahoo! Alpha. Bahoo! Bahoo! <laughs> yeah, it, it's 8.20 in the morning and I already took an Advil. My tongue was really swollen, but anyway, I guess we're going to go ahead and get up oh, and get our day started. I'm not talking anymore. So, we're going to brush my teeth. I already brushed my teeth once last night after, you know, getting my tongue pierced. And it wasn't that bad. I am, I think, going to take another Advil, but my tongue is swollen. Literally, my tongue is like almost sitting over my teeth. What the heck? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> If 
not the worst pain, it's just inconvenient. Like, how am I supposed to brush my tongue? <laughs> I can't get it to clean good. my face and finish getting ready for the day. I really would like to go to the gym. I just don't know if that's a bad idea or not, but we're gonna find out together. So, <laughs> I sound so silly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready for the day. And then, I'll catch up with you guys. <laughs> Out snack. I'm having a banana. I figure I could eat it because it's soft. I usually eat a banana in the morning as my pre-workout snack. That was higher than I thought it was going to be, so we're going to mash up the banana. Cool beans. I got my master banana. This is... <laughs> eating is not an enjoyable thing to do. Right now, maybe if I take smaller bites, maybe if I mash it more. Okay, so the trick is you gotta put it in the back. Like that. What makes it hard is that you can't use your tongue really to push the food to the back of your throat. So that's what makes it hard to like, eat. You gotta figure out how to get back there so you can swallow it, you know? Okay. I ate all of that. I have this applesauce. I started to eat it yesterday, but... My mouth hurt too much. Like my tongue to eat it. I just, I just didn't know how to eat yet, you know? Okay, cool. So those are my two usual pre-workout snacks. I can eat that. Next up, some super greens. I bought a new pre-workout, Bucked Up. It's good. It doesn't have as much caffeine as the one that I usually use, and I actually appreciate that because the one that I used to use low-key gave me anxiety. <laughs> like, my heart would be racing and in a bad way, and I liked it at first, but I don't know. Towards the end there, when I was finishing, finishing the second one, I realized, like, it was just doing the most for no reason. Alright you guys, I've got all of my things I need for the gym ready. I've got my BCAs, I've got my 
pre-workout that I'll drink in the car. And then I got my protein shake for when I'm done with my workout. But I'm gonna go ahead and start heading out. But I'm not gonna bring you guys with me. If you're interested in seeing me like work out and stuff, go ahead and check out my week of workouts video. But I will come home and update you guys on how I feel, how it went, if I had to leave early, if not, you know, things like that. I am gonna take Advil with me. Is that a good idea? Yeah, I'm gonna put my bag just in case. This is what we're looking like now. Not too shabby. I'll see you guys when I get back to the house. Hey guys, I just came back in from the gym and I had a fantastic workout. My tongue is hella swollen right now, but it's because I was just on the phone with my mom, so that's why. <laughs> But the time, like, it didn't affect my workout whatsoever. Honestly, I kind of forgot that it was there. Now I remember. Okay, I could feel it getting swollen. Look how fat my tongue is. It's so fat. It's sitting on my teeth. You can see, like, the tongue mark. I mean, teeth mark. Anyway, you guys want to see my booty pump? You want to see my booty pump? Wow. I started jump roping and I added a new goal. Well, it was my old goal from last summer, but that I wanted to run five miles without stopping. And I was able to do that. We're starting it up again this summer because I got really little when I finally achieved that goal. So I'm assuming the same thing's gonna happen again. But anyway, I'm gonna go take a shower and rest my tongue from talking. <laughs> My tongue got really swollen. Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go to the store to a commissary because I feel like I could eat Rotel dip. If you know what Rotel dip is, it's really good. So I'm gonna buy the ingredients that I need to make that and some um, chips, some tortilla chip, mostly for Craig because I probably can't eat that. But I am gonna get some like tortillas and soft tacos and cut them and I'm gonna use those as like chips. And that might work better. We'll see. <laughs> Bro, I sound dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the store. I'll be back. Hey, guys. So, it's a little bit later. I've got my hotel dip. See? Mmm. I decided to put in a bowl both soft chips and hard chips. And then for the soft chips, I basically just cut up a piece of tortilla and put my own special name on it. Soft chips. And then I made a smoothie. And let's see what I can eat. I'm gonna start with the hard one. But maybe not the whole chip. And now it's off chip. I don't know if that was harder because of the tortilla or because it was such a big piece of meat on it. It is yummy though. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating off camera. Hey you guys, so I was just editing the video that you're watching, the piercing video, and I realized I never ended it. I ended up stopping after that like first two days, you know, I got it pierced and then there was the first day and then I stopped recording and the reason for that was because the pain was it was unbearable enough for me not to want to vlog for the next however many days the more you talk the more strain it puts on your tongue it makes it hurt more than what's necessary if that makes sense so but I did take notes for a couple of things that I did want to share with you you know like 
debrief from getting this piercing and then speaking of like the more you talk you know you guys know that i work at burger king and when you work at burger king you have to talk a lot you have to take orders you know help customers etc i would honestly recommend that if you decide to get your tongue pierced if that's what interests you if that's what tickles your fancy i rec recommend taking at least a week off of work because it took about a week before my tongue felt normal enough that i could talk without like excessive swelling it got to a point that like my tongue had swollen so much that like it felt like it was eating the bar and that's not okay but that was because of how much i was talking because as soon as i stopped talking and i went home and stuff like it was swollen but like a normal amount of swollen but like with all the talking and stuff it just mm -mm, no bueno so some things you're going to notice when you have your piercing is you're going to notice like white stuff growing on your tongue. I read in an article that that's actually normal. It's, I guess, bacteria that goes on your tongue, that grows on your tongue to help it heal. Along with that, like it could look white too because your tongue gets so swollen that the little, um, you know, your taste buds, that they also like get swollen. So I don't know. It looks funny because of that. And you might notice some of that. You also might notice that you get like a ring around your tongue piercing and it, it kind of looks like, like, a divot like where your piercing like sits into your tongue that's also normal and it goes away with time i still have it just a little bit i'll show you guys what my tongue looks like you know after we're done with this little spiel but i still have it a little bit and it's been over a month now today is may 12th but it's like not it's not a divot anymore it's just a ring it's literally almost gone you also may notice some discharge on your tongue which is also normal throughout the healing process now if it begins to smell funny or if it like looks funny in color or if it's excessive then you probably would want to go and speak to your piercer or to a doctor or whatever you know is necessary a little bit of discharge is normal when I wrote these notes, it still was getting sore every now and again, but not like swollen. It wouldn't, it doesn't swell anymore, but it does still like get sore just around the bar. Not my whole tongue, just around the bar. Or if it's like a long day of talking, like after work, it might get sore also, but that kind of sore feels more like when you exercise and you're lifting weights and stuff, it's just a little bit of extra weight that's on my tongue that I have to get used to. The pain overall was manageable. When I was comparing it to my wisdom teeth earlier, like as far as my expectations and stuff, I would say that my wisdom teeth were a little bit easier only because your tongue use it to speak but also use it to eat it helps to push food to the back of your throat so having four teeth gone i mean you know only two at a time but still having four teeth gone didn't impair me from eating i couldn't chew and i was a little sore but i could still like mash with my tongue but now since my tongue was also impaired well not also but you know my tongue was impaired this time i couldn't push food to the back of my throat i couldn't mush food with my tongue and on top of that my mouth was also sore or like during my wisdom teeth so i would say the pain isn't bad but the piercing like the healing process can be really inconvenient as far as like eating and you know how it hurts to eat talking sometimes people don't understand you or you just don't want to talk so it can be a little frustrating here and there but if you plan around it and you plan smartly you plan not to go to work not to be around people too much maybe and you plan to maybe have less opportunities to have to speak you know then you'll be good the hard part for real is just eating you guys know that i work out and stuff so i was still mostly eating normal here and there as normal as i could i guess because i was still trying to get proper nutrition because i was still working out that kind of sucked but overall though i recommend the piercing i love the piercing i recommend the piercing if that's what you want if you don't want it then obviously don't get it but i love the piercing i think it's fun i like that like when i'm bored you know i sit there and i play with it but let me show you guys what it looks like right now that's the end of this video i am gonna go ahead and link one or two articles in the description box below on tongue piercings in case you wanted to read that i think it's really important to research everything that you do honestly i never do anything without looking it up first and reading for myself so that i know what to expect but i will catch you guys in my next video remember to hit that subscribe button tap that bell notification to always stay in the know and up to date on all my videos when i post them as soon as i post them make sure to hit that like button leave a comment let me know how you're doing and how your day has been and I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye!